New at 11, tempers flying tonight at a meeting hosted by CMS. Talks surrounded possible rezoning maps and school changes for the upcoming school year. This could impact where students go in the 2024-2025 school year and the type of academic programs available. Erica Lunsford is live at Myers Park High School where tonight's meeting was held. And Erica, you say some parents are telling you they do not think they're being heard. Molly, that's right. The parents filled the cafeteria tonight at Myers Park High School, and some of them say they still have more questions than answers when it comes to where their children will learn next year. The road has been pulled out from under us, in my opinion. I think it must be for others as well. School cafeterias are typically filled with chatter. You have to do better with the kids that are currently here. But Monday night, it was parents, not kids, making noise. These adults are here to voice concern and ask questions about potential zoning changes proposed by Charlotte and Mecklenburg schools. It would be disrupting families. I would potentially have a senior at one school and a freshman at a different school. Laura Grant, a mother of two CMS students said she's concerned over potential boundary and feeder changes. She's at this meeting tonight because she says she hasn't gotten any answers after attempting to reach out to the school board. I'm hoping that they'll finally listen to us in a manner that they can't um, just say thank you and continue to go on at least answer the questions that we have of you're violating the guiding principles. Explain to us why. Grant says she started a petition against the new rezoning. Nearly 1,000 signatures so far. Other parents are here tonight worried about teaching programs and if their kids would be left in a school without the advanced IB learning program. So now all these kids are being split up again, which goes against your principle of keeping the elementary schools together in the first place. Marianne Mieszczek says she wonders if IB classes would be offered at other schools and is also concerned with finding the resources to staff the district's ideas for new and current schools. There hasn't been enough time for feedback. There's a new board. There's no superintendent. How are you going to staff these schools when you can't staff the schools that we have now? Where are you pulling this from? Speaking on behalf of CMS, Dennis Lacaria, a planning supervisor within the district, says this is why tonight's meeting is being held, to hear concerns and factor them in into the district's final plan. Those are things that we'll work through going forward, uh, so, so it remains to be seen on some of that uh, programmatic. So historically, when we've opened a new high school, we have left the 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 seniors at their school. So the rising seniors, the, the seniors, the year the new school would open, the relief school can stay at the school that they started in. We're having conversation, getting feedback from the community about uh, allowing juniors to have that same grace. As for what's next, I'm told that CMS will present a final draft to the Board of Education in the beginning of May. Then at the end of May, they'll get a vote for recommendation, and that will go into effect for the new high school in 2024. Now, as you mentioned, as he mentioned earlier, CMS, they're still looking for feedback. People can submit a survey online. They have that link on their website. Reporting in Charlotte, Erica Lunsford, WBTV, on your side. Erica, thank you.